Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR Pharma Tube. In this lesson, we shall discuss the synthetic anti-tubercular agents isoniazid, ethionamide, and ethambutal. The two broad categories of drugs used in the treatment of tuberculosis are synthetic drugs and antibiotics. In this lesson, we learn the synthetic anti-TB drugs. Several categories of synthetic compounds have been examined for anti-tubercular activity. These drugs include isoniazid, ethionamide, prothionamide, ethambutal, pyrazinamide, aminosalicylic acid, and thiacetazone. The first drug is isoniazid. It is a synthetic antibacterial agent and is chemically known as isonicotinic acid hydroxide abbreviated INH or 4-pyridine carboxylic acid hydroxide. It is the most active drug with bactericidal action for the treatment of tuberculosis caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis and was introduced into the medical practice in 1953. It is bacteriostatic at concentrations of 0.025 to 0.05 micrograms per ml in vitro but at higher concentrations it is bactericidal. For active tuberculosis it is often used together with rifampicin, pyrazinamide and either streptomycin or ethambutal. For latent tuberculosis it is often used by itself. It may also be used for atypical types of mycobacteria such as mycobacterium avium, mycobacterium kansasi and mycobacterium xenopi. Synthesis of isoniazid. Isoniazid is synthesized by three methods. In the first method of synthesis, isoniazid is synthesized by reacting 4-cyanopyridine and hydrazine hydrate. In the second method, ethyl ester of isonicotinic acid reacts with hydrazine to form isoniazid. And in the third method, isoniazid is synthesized from 4-methyltoline. The 4-methyltoline undergoes oxidation with potassium permanganate to form isonicotinic acid, which upon heating with anhydrous hydrazine condenses to yield the desired isoniazid. Isoniazid occurs as colorless crystals or a white crystalline powder. It is freely soluble in water. It is stored in well-closed light-resistant containers. It is a water-soluble compound and well-absorbed when administered either orally or parenterally. Mechanism of Action of Isoniazid Isoniazid acts by inhibiting the synthetic pathways leading to mycolic acid, an essential component of mycobacterial cell walls. It is activated in bacterial cells by a catalase enzyme peroxidase abbreviated KATG and pronounced CATG enzyme. CATG catalyzes the formation of the isonicotinic acyl radical which spontaneously couples with NADH to form the nicotinoyl NAD adductor. This complex binds tightly to the enoyl acyl carrier protein reductase that is INHA thereby blocking the natural enoyl acyl carrier protein that is ACPM substrate and the action of fatty acid synthase. This process inhibits the synthesis of mycolic acids which are required components of the mycobacterial cell wall. Isoniazid is bactericidal to rapidly dividing mycobacteria but is bacteriostatic if the mycobacteria are slow growing. It inhibits the cytochrome P450 system and hence acts as a source of free radicals. Isoniazid is a mild monoamino oxidase inhibitor. The Clinical Uses of Isoniazid Isoniazid is sold under the names Hydra, Hyzid, Isovit, Liniazid, Nidrazid, etc. It is among the safest and most active mycobactericidal agents. It is an effective drug and continues to be one of the primary drugs along with rifampicin, pyrazinamide and ethionamide for the treatment of tuberculosis. It is often used to treat latent and active tuberculosis infections. In persons with isoniazid-sensitive mycobacterium tuberculosis infection, drug regimens based on isoniazid are usually effective when persons adhere to the prescribed treatment. However, in persons with isoniazid-resistant mycobacterium tuberculosis infection, drug regimens based on isoniazid have a high rate of failure. 
The second drug is ethionamide. Ethionamide was discovered in 1956 and approved for medical use in 1965. Chemically, it is known as 2-ethylpyridine 2-carbothiamide. Thus, ethionamide belongs to the thioamides family of medications. Ethionamide is a derivative of isonicotinic acid and is chemically related to isoniazid. In contrast to isoniazid series, 2 substitution enhances activity in the thioisonicotinamide series and blocks the synthesis of mycolic acids. The synthesis of analogues of isonicotinamide resulted in the discovery of ethionamide and a homologue in which the ethyl group is replaced with a propyl group as in prothionamide. Both compounds have proven to be bactericidal against mycobacterium tuberculosis and mycobacterium leprae. It is a secondary agent used in combination when primary agents are ineffective or contraindicated. It is a bacteriostatic anti-TB agent. Synthesis of ethionamide Ethionamide is synthesized by condensing diethyl oxalate with methyl ethyl ketone in the presence of sodium ethoxide to form the ethyl ester of propionyl pyruvic acid. Condensation of this ethyl ester of propionyl pyruvic acid with cyanoacetamide results in heterocyclization to form 3-cyano-4-carbo-ethoxy-6-ethyl-2-pyridone which is hydrolyzed with hydrochloric acid to give 4-carboxyl-6-ethyl-2-pyridone. Reacting this with a mixture of phosphorus oxychloride and pentachloride gives 6-ethyl-2-chloroisonicotinic acid chloride which is subsequently treated with ethyl alcohol to obtain the ethyl ester of 6-ethyl-2-chloroisonicotinic acid. Reducing the ethyl ester of 6-ethyl-2-chloroisonicotinic acid with hydrogen over a palladium catalyst removes the chlorine atom at position 2 of the pyridine ring giving the ethyl ester of 6-ethyl-isonicotinic acid. Interacting this with ammonia followed by dehydration of the resulting amide of 6-ethyl isonicotinic acid using phosphorus pentoxide gives the nitrile of 6-ethyl isonicotinic acid. Finally, reacting the nitrile of 6-ethyl isonicotinic acid with hydrogen sulfide gives ethionamide. Ethionamide occurs as small yellow crystals or a yellow crystalline powder practically insoluble in water. Mechanism of Action Ethionamide is a prodrug which is activated by the enzyme ETHA, a monooxygenase in mycobacterium tuberculosis and then binds NAD plus to form an adduct which inhibits enoyl acyl carrier protein in the same way as isoniazid. The mechanism of action is thought to be through the disruption of mycolic acids. Ethionamide is sold under the brand name Trecator. It is considered a secondary drug for the treatment of tuberculosis. It is used in the treatment of isoniazid resistant tuberculosis or when the patient is intolerant to isoniazid and other drugs. Because of its low potency, the highest tolerated dose of ethionamide is usually recommended. And the last drug of this lesson is Ethambutol. Ethambutol, abbreviated EMB, is a synthetic compound and was discovered in 1961. Chemically, it is N-N-ethylene bis-2-aminobutane-1-ol. It is administered as its dextroenantiomer, which is 200 to 500 times more active than its levoenantiomer. It may be used to treat mycobacterium AVM complex and mycobacterium cancer it exhibits bacteriostatic activity against mycobacterium tuberculosis in vitro or in macrophages at 1 microgram per ml. It is usually given in combination with other tuberculosis medications such as isoniazid, rifampicin and pyrazinamide. Synthesis of Ethambutol Ethambutol is synthesized in several different ways. In the first method, nitropropane undergoes oxymethylation using formaldehyde and the nitro group in the resulting 2-nitrobutanol is reduced by hydrogen to an amino group making racemic 2-aminobutanol. Reacting this 2-aminobutanol with 1,2-dichloroethane in the presence of sodium hydroxide gives ethambutol. The second method of synthesis consists of preparing 2 
amino-butanol by reducing the ethyl ester of L2-amino-butyric acid hydrochloride with hydrogen using a simultaneously rani nickel and platinum oxide catalyst. This gives pure 2-amino-butanol. The third method of synthesis resembles of the Ritter reaction but which takes place in the presence of chlorine. This method consists of reacting 1-butene and acetonitrile in the presence of chlorine which evidently results in the 1,4 addition of chlorine to the product of the Ritter reaction forming an intermediate dichloride which is hydrolyzed with water to make N1-chloromethylpropyl acetamide. Heating this product with hydrochloric acid gives 2-aminobutanol. Ethambutol is a white crystalline powder freely soluble in water and slightly soluble in alcohol. Mechanism of Action Ethambutol is bacteriostatic against actively growing tubercle bacilli. It works by obstructing the formation of cell wall. Mycolic acids attach to the 5-hydroxyl groups of D-arabinose residues of arabinogalactone and form mycolyl arabinogalactone peptidoglycan complex in the cell wall. It disrupts arabinogalactone synthesis by inhibiting the enzyme arabinosyl transferase. Disruption of the arabinogalactone synthesis inhibits the formation of this complex and leads to increased permeability of the cell wall. Medical Uses Ethambutol is not recommended for use alone along with other medications to treat a number of infections including tuberculosis, mycobacterium avium complex and mycobacterium cancasi. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video. The synthetic anti-tubercular agents isoniazid, ethionamide and ethambutol. In the next lesson, we discuss the other two agents of this class, pyrazinamide and para-aminosalicylic acid. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.